see, we're playing Warframe. Today we're going to take a look at the Acarius Prime. This was released alongside the Gauss Prime and the Exceltra Prime. Take a look at the relics we need for this one. You can see here we need the Axie D5. This relic will drop the Acarius Prime Barrel. And a good place for this is Lure and Apollo. And uh, you need to go to Rotation B. Just completing two rounds. Uh, the Lith A6 drops the Acarius Prime Receiver. And a great place for this is Heppert in the Void, which is a uh, speedrun mission. Capture the target and get out. Got the Lith R5, drops the Acarius Prime Link. This is also available from Heppert in the Void. Nice fast speedrun mission. And lastly, Neo A11, the Acarius Prime Blueprint. And this one you can get from Uko in the Void, which is also a um, Fast capture mission you can speed run it. So let's start with the um, XED5 on Apollo. It's a disruption mission. Give that console the old bypass so we can get this thing started. So if you complete all of the uh, conduits in the first round, you'll get a rotation B. And if you complete three or four of the conduits in round two, you'll also get another rotation B. So you can do two rounds and you get two chances at the relic. Conduit keys are carried by high ranking Mikey Mucks. Knock them down. See what they've got. First key. Right. Find a matching conduit. Demo unit, you can depart this mortal coil and take you with it. Keep it clear of that conduit. I'm using the Nyx Prime with her uh, absorb ability. It's pretty cool. And the assimilate mode allows me to walk around with the absorb bubble on. Okay, there's a puzzle here. Let's do the puzzle quickly. You'll quite often find this puzzle in uh, Apollo Lua. Start from this podium here. And then just uh, zip across, avoid the lasers. Done. Pick up the uh, special mod. Stealth Drift. Players joined. I do these on public because they're better with more players. Hear that beeping? Demo units on its way. Down there is the uh, endurance puzzle. Can't really do that with this full frame. We have a video that talks about all of the uh, lure puzzles and how to solve them. I might put a link for that down in the description. Demo unit incoming. 
Don't let them near the conduit. Okay, he's activated the red conduit. Goodbye. Here he comes. All right, there we go. Hexy D5. We can take them again. I think that's like a 14% chance to drop on this mission. Shiny secured and we're in the wind. I'll send your cut via the usual. Have a good one. Let's move on to Hepit in the Void. So two of the relics drop in this location. You are here on a capture mission. You must find, capture, and extract our target. And uh, I'm using a Vault Prime so I can speedrun it. Each mission should take about one to one and a half minutes. You found a target. Capture them quickly before they escape. Mission complete. The captive has been escorted to the extraction point. Yeah, I think it's well got done. about a 6% chance to drop. But uh, you can run these ones quick, so it makes up for it. Six Carrier's Prime Receiver. Okay, the other thing you can do if you're in a syndicate is you can uh, get the relic packs from the syndicates, which I've been doing. Will these help you? Well, the relic packs, they're 20,000 each. We are honored to help. You can see here I've got another Lith A6 relic dropped right there. That might be an easier way. Let's buy some more relic packs from Cephalon Seda. Buy four of these. Hmm. I see. Nothing there. Oh yeah, got the Lith R5. It's one of the ones I'm looking for. Carius Prime Link. Yep, nothing more there. You can see I got two relics just then. Okay, let's move on to the next location. Uko in the void. You are here to find our target and bring them to the extraction point. Happy Same hunting. as Hepit. Use a Vault Prime or a Speed Frame. You found a target. Capture the target and get out. Excellent work. We'll interrogate the
Okay, not what I wanted. I'm gonna go back to the syndicate shop. I can buy one more relic pack. What can we do to help your journey? An honor. Ah, oh, those drops the Neo A11, which is the one I was looking for from Uko. Cool. I don't have to do Uko no more. <laughs> and that is the end of this episode, guys. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. Bye for now.